Ladies, gentlemen, and other people, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'd like to welcome you to Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. This game came out in 2010, and it's a third-person action-adventure title, and a very unexpected fourth entry in the so-called Sands of Time trilogy. Now, I know what some of you were thinking. The last time I touched this series, in The Two Thrones, the story was pretty definitively wrapped up at the end. Well, that's why this game takes place in between the events of the first two games in the series, The Sands of Time and Warrior Within. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that this is going to be a blind LP. I stepped into the very first area in order to get a reading on the frame rate and audio levels, which is why we see continue up here. But other than that, everything we're about to see is going to be new to me. I'm going to play the game for the first time ever, and you guys get to come along for the ride. Now without further ado, let's play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Yes please, move this off to the side. I don't know why they ask this, given that I didn't actually get any powers or upgrades. Yes, please. What have you done? You ask as if I were a ruffian, a wanderer with no place in this palace. Know that I am a son for King Shahama, and brother of Prince Malik, who rules here in our father's name. I did not come here seeking a mythical army. I was sent to study alongside my brother, that someday I might be as great a leader as he is. This territory was once the heart of King Solomon's mighty empire. According to legend, it holds a secret we are sworn to protect. Perhaps that secret is the reason the fortress is much sought after by neighboring kingdoms. Malik was sent here so the army would have a strong commander to discourage attacks. But even Malik's famed strength could not discourage everyone. This is not the glad welcome I was expecting. I don't know why the cutscenes are so much quieter than the gameplay, by the way. But, uh... Ooh, damn! We are in the thick of it now. Look at all those little mans.
Pretty sure that makes four out of four games in this series that open with the prince walking into a pitched battle. Can I wreck these? I can. That's gonna leave a mark. All right. I feel like I should mention. Uh, not necessarily as a positive thing or a negative thing, just as something I feel should be uh, addressed. I have to find Malik. He'll be planning a way out of this. Hmm. All right, I do miss the uh, the backflip he used to do if you ran up the wall when there was nowhere to grab. But okay, I'll allow it. And the thing I want to do acknowledge is, uh, well, I'll just put this bluntly. The reason this game exists is that in 2010, the Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time movie came out in theaters, and Ubisoft really, really wanted to have a Prince of Persia game to put out alongside it. So this isn't technically a movie tie-in game, but, uh... But I'm just saying, this isn't the story the uh, original creators of the Sands of Time trilogy were dying to tell afterwards. Fine, run along the wall. Hi, guys! Oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I don't remember being able to do that, but I like that. That was, um... Uh, almost like they were aiming at me. Up we go. Nice. Okay. Drop. Perhaps climbing up here wasn't the best idea. Of course, it offers such a lovely view. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they did bring back Yuri Lowenthal as the prince. He previously played the prince in Sands of Time and uh, the Two Thrones, but not Warrior Within. They cast someone else in keeping with uh, that game's grittier aesthetic. Oh, okay, that was good timing on my part. I really like the uh, the catapult balls smashed into the wall. I wonder what that other thing was. Can I, like... Oh. The guy's just dead. I don't know if I can knock these guys over the edge. Yep, that was just a bad camera angle for it. All of you are dead. Hmm. What are these hanging skins are for? I don't actually know where this is, but uh, I've really stepped into it this time. 
him. Yes, with momentum this time. By the way, we have officially surpassed where anywhere I went in the testing, so everything is new now. It seems familiar. Looks like the only way out is to climb up. I should really have a word with the Persian architects at some point. I didn't want to just... I wasn't sure if I could, had to do that again or if I was supposed to grab onto that trench in the wall. Oh, no. God damn it. What am I doing? Sorry, I was distracted by trying to find the right words for something. Actually, you know what? I'll just drop down and, uh... I am not a big fan of what they did with the prince's face. I don't think he looks like the same man from the other games. wondering to myself. So, in the Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time movie, the prince was somewhat controversially played by Jake Gyllenhaal, a white man. And, uh... I don't think this guy looks like Jake Gyllenhaal, but I do think he looks more like a white guy than he used to. I can't help but wonder if that was intentional to make... Uh, it sort of line up better with what they had on screen. Oh! I actually thought I got killed for a second there. It was very close indeed. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. It has been a few years since I played those games. Oh, okay. You never know. Some of them could have something useful in them. Hmm. I know basically nothing about the story of this game, except what we've already seen, to be honest. Uh, oh, it takes place between Sands of Time and Warrior Within, and it's about the prince going to meet his brother, who we've never heard of before. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot about that move. I'm not worried about, like, wasting health pickups because, uh... Oh, hey, look! Oh, the symbol on this banner is the uh, desktop icon. Except it's done up in silver, not in white and red. this about now? Well, on a war one, press A to jump away from the wall. I kind of figured that part, yes. Try to jump into this. Nobody tell Malik that was me. Once again, at some points you get full 3D camera control, and some points it just floats up in the corner and you just move it left and right. This reminds me of Azad. Azad was the city from the first game. I remember that. So yeah, we've done that, but we haven't gone to the Island of Time or uh, seen Babylon under siege yet. This also reminds me of Azad. Ow! Oh. You interrupted. Oh, fuck. Just kind of punch that guy in the dick. Oh, 
later. Okay, maybe the action roll wasn't called for. I'm just... Enthusiastic. I do like the hesitation there, so you don't accidentally walk yourself off a cliff. Uh, up there? Nope, nope, can't reach. Ah, much better. Let's run up this door. I don't think the sand's supposed to constantly fall down like that. It's probably bad, I'm just saying. Yeah, here I can't move the camera around as much as I'd like. Makes you wonder if there's a collectible at the end of this hallway. Nope! I mean, unless that door opens, but I don't think any of the others did. What's that? Oh. Oh! Shit! That one felt a bit more necessary. Back to the gate! Follow the prince! Oh! I didn't see. I'm just wondering whether the guy in the golden mask is going to turn out to be the bad guy, wrong button, or uh, Prince Malik. Because right now I can see it going either way, since I wasn't quite clear which side he was fighting on in that cutscene. The camera is too focused on him for me to get a good look at uh, what the two sides looked like. Make way for the prince, Malik. Aha! He must not hear me with the battle going on. Fair. There is quite a lot of yelling going on outside. Oh. God damn it. I mean, they're on fire and everything. You know, for just a moment there, I thought I was going to, like, jump off the plank and, uh, do the eagle dive from Assassin's Creed. Looks like he just knocks them out when I do that. I'm down with that. Do you work? Let me guess, I have to go up there and find a button or a switch or a... turny crank or something. What are they even aiming at at this point? Oh, no, fuck that door, I guess. This guy's just repelling. Looks like an elaborate dance than a uh, sword fight, but I'll allow it. Oh. Ow. I just keep knocking him down as often as I want. Tell the others what you have seen. Just cut this in half. Huh. I guess he lets go just before the ground. Looks like I can grab on here. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't listening. What? Oh. Grab onto the bricks. Oh! I thought he meant the gate. Just pretending that uh, I missed the tutorial thing. I remember I actually got a very heartfelt thank you. Uh, on the first episode. Oh, I see. Uh, of, uh, Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Because, uh, I was actually paying attention to the tutorials. Prince Malik, he gets things done, and he has a name. Yes, if you're new here, and, uh... To be honest, I'm not sure why you would be. This is an odd place to start a story. But if you're new here, the protagonists of the Prince of Persia franchise are never referred to by name.
Grace under pressure. Uh, uh, can I? Yes, yes I can. My big ball is on fire. I wonder if they launched that or if it fell off of a building. Okay. I had to press it more than once. Let's get dropping down to bricks closer to him. How is my health looking? Uh, you know what? Ah! Okay, it's full. I won't smash that then. Okay. Ah! Yes, right here. Roll under the wall. I keep mixing up uh, A and B. Oh. Okay, three hit power attack combo. Nice. I can't imagine any scenario in which I'll. Oh. For a second there, thanks, thanks for the fact that I've just been playing Doom, I was expecting him to like chop his head off and hold it over his head or something. Well, there's the timer. So, uh... I guess that'll do it for uh, the premiere episode of this series. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. We're going to continue making our way through this fortress and try and catch up with Malik. So we can uh, plan our next move. Later.